What is up guys, TechRex here. So today I wanted to do the extreme water freeze test. I've got the Galaxy S8 to the right of me, the iPhone 10 to the left. I picked it up today from the Apple store. This is that silver variant, simply gorgeous guys. There's not a single blemish on this phone. And I know both of these phones are already water resistant, but that's why I wanna kinda of take it to a second level. I wanna put both of these phones in these containers, freeze them overnight, see what happens in the morning. So right now I actually juiced up both of the phones, they're at like 98, 99%. Let's go ahead, pop them in these little jugs. And again, it's gonna be maybe 10 hours, maybe 12 hours. I just wanna see once they fully freeze, what will happen. So they are um, completely underwater. I might just add a little bit more water in this, in the container with the, where the Galaxy S8 is, because you guys can see there's a little bit of unevenness. So let's go ahead, pop them in the freezer, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, guys, it's morning here. You guys can see both of the phones are encased in ice. The Galaxy S8 is actually doing a thing of its own. It's still showing life. I don't know about the iPhone 10, so I want to try and get this one out first because I don't know if it's dead or what. So let's go ahead and get the, the handy-dandy, you know. And that's just cracked, so that wasn't really a smart way to get. Because see, that's what happens. <sighs> okay guys, I got it out of the sink. The phone actually fell out when I was melting the ice in hot water and it turned on, so it is showing life. It just turned off somehow, but I'm going to take it out again. This was just a real hassle. Here is the iPhone 10, and what is the battery percentage? I'm curious. Let's see. Is it? Can it still do face scan? Doesn't seem like it's doing it. I'm pretty close up, so let let me go ahead and actually dry this phone. Let's give it another go. I just dried off the phone. Let me look, and I'm looking directly right now at the phone. It's not unlocking. Swipe to unlock. So of course I could do that passcode. Okay, we're like less than 10%. We're at 1%. That's crazy that this phone even turned on. What in the world? That's pretty crazy. But why isn't it doing the face scan? That's what I'm interested in because I clearly have it enabled. What? What is going on? Do you guys see that? Oh my goodness. What is going on? Okay, this has never happened before with an iPhone model. This is just a regular water freeze test. The, it's, the screen is completely glitching. I want to actually, let me charge this guy because I don't want him to die right now. And then possibly not turn on. But I'm sorry guys, I'm kind of putting a hole to the Galaxy S8, but this is pretty crazy. I've never seen anything like it. It is charging, so we should be good momentarily. This is crazy. What is the phone? I mean, this is like a permanent problem right here to the LCD, so I don't want to ramble too much about this. Let me actually put this phone aside and get the Galaxy S8 out. I melted the ice in the Galaxy S8, so let's pop it open. Ugh. Come on. There we go. Okay, let me dry it off first before I do anything. Okay, now let's take a good examination. We are at 44% first of all, so that is pretty crazy because first of all, when I got both phones out of the freezer, this phone was still on and it's still at 44%, which just makes me believe that the battery uh, consumption, you know, is far less on this smartphone right here. But let me make sure is everything working. And then I actually want to move on to the to the iPhone, see what's up with that. So everything seems to be working. I'm looking at the back. I mean, it's just a cold Galaxy S8, you know? I don't see anything too off. It's in airplane mode. I don't remember it being in airplane mode. But I think that's it for the Galaxy S8. So let me actually go back to the iPhone. I'm just so curious because of what I saw. I wanna see if there's an Apple logo now turning on. What 
And then, of course, it wasn't scanning my face, so that was another thing. Okay. Well, that's different. Restore. It makes me want to restore this phone. Is this phone literally dead after 12 hours in the freezer? Again, guys, just to re-emphasize, I've never had an issue like this happen. Um, look at that. Now the Apple logo just disappears. And I'm trying to power it on. What in the world? Green screen? Look at this. What is happening? And updating you guys again, I've plugged it into iTunes. It's not showing me anything on iTunes. Uh, I can't even, it doesn't even recognize the phone. Now it's showing me this white screen. It was flickering green. It was showing a green screen, Apple logo, all sorts of things. And now this phone literally won't turn on. So again, I mean, major redesign comes with some major flaws. That's for sure. So I can't get this phone to do anything at all right now. So this is a bit disappointing considering, you know, nothing at all is wrong with the, there's no cracks. This is like a 10 out of 10 condition phone. Let me plug it out and just see. I mean, nothing is happening. What in the world is wrong with this phone? Okay, I guess that wraps it up, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, stay tuned for more videos and don't at least put your iPhone 10 in a freezer because as far as I can tell, this might happen to you.